Are you a salesperson or a business owner and making this mistake? That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. Last week I was a digital dealer in Tampa and I wanted to change my presentation up really drastically. And I was doing some research and trying to find out because I was really trying to talk about something that, I mean, everybody suffers from today. What am I talking about? I'm talking about SOS. And I asked the question, I put it on the screen, I said, what is SOS? And I was amazed, it was pretty funny, with what people were saying SOS is. So I'm gonna ask you the same question. Joe, what's SOS? Save our souls. That's not, Kurt, what's SOS? Um, He's drawing a blank. Mike, what's SOS? Save our ship. Save our ship. Well, what the response I got at Digital Dealer was shit on a shingle. So shit on a shingle is a uh, dinner that's popular in the South, but I don't think people really eat it anymore. What I'm talking about with SOS is shiny object syndrome. So again, shiny object syndrome is what SOS, SOS is for today. Think about it. We have all of this technology, all of these new tools. I mean, you've got instant message, you've got Twitter, you've got Periscope, you've got Facebook, you've got iPads, you've got all of these different ways to organize your day, to communicate. I mean, we've got all of this technology coming at us. For what reason? Is it supposed to make our lives easier? Is it supposed to make us more productive? Well, I beg to differ. Because with all of this technology and all of these distractions, I really don't feel we're very productive. In fact, I mean, if I look back years ago, in the ad agency world, the way we would communicate with our clients, in other words, to send creative to them, was FedEx. We didn't do emails and all that. It, I mean, our FedEx bill was astronomical. That's how we got proof on everything. And I, I remember it like it was yesterday, too, that when we were communicating with our clients and we were FedExing them and they were FedExing back, we didn't have as many go-rounds. In other words, it wasn't so many, oh, can we tweak this? Can we tweak that? Can we tweak this? We take longer today to do a project than what we did years ago. And that's because of the technology. So is, the question is, is technology really helping us? But hey, I said this was for salespeople. I said it was for business owners. So are you stuck in SOS? Are you the type that's like, wow, I really wanna try that. It, that's gonna help me. That's gonna help me sell more. That's gonna make me more productive. Somebody walks in the office and goes, hey, I got something new. And you're like, whoa, there went the squirrel. That shiny object, you've gotta stop. So what can you do? Well, start asking yourself questions. When that shiny object comes into the showroom or comes across your desk, whatever it might be, I mean, maybe it's a new app that you're gonna download to be able to keep up with your day to make sure you're more productive. So ask yourself some questions. So one of the questions I wanna, want you to ask is, I'm already doing A, so if I pick up the SOS tactic, do I have to get rid of A, B, and C, and will it make me more, more or less not as productive? Will it cost me more? Do I have the resources to be able to really do it? I mean, you've got to slow down and say, hey, I'm not going to fall subject to SOS because that shiny object syndrome, I mean, it could be here today, gone tomorrow. I mean, how many of you guys still have a MySpace page? I mean, really, think through it. Make sure it's a direction you want to go. I, I know me it, it, so many times that I'm like, oh, there's gotta be a better app for me to be able to keep up with my to-dos. And I bet you I've downloaded probably 40 different to-do apps and I just don't stick to one. That's what you have to do. Well, I, I say that's what I used to do. Now I have stuck to one. A friend of mine said, hey, try this one. And I said, that's it. This is gonna be the last one. I'm gonna stick to it and I'm gonna stick to it for at least 90 days. That's what I want you to start doing. Fight through the SOS, 
pick something, stick to it for 90 days, and then when you decide to do something else that you think, oh, this is gonna be better, I want you to sit down and write a list of pros and cons. And I don't want you to jump in both feet first, I want you to just kind of use it on, you know, in the background. Just use it a little bit and see if it will really work. So again, if you're a business owner, SOS is what's costing you tens of thousands of dollars. I mean, in your advertising strategies, in your process that you're handling in your dealership, I mean, process with your salespeople, and as a salesperson, it's preventing you from making the money that you could make. I mean, I can't emphasize that enough. While we think that new technology, new ways is the way to go, you know, there's really nothing broke with old school techniques, and I know that sounds funny coming from me, but I just remember back in the day when I had Al that worked in the showroom and he was the top sales guy and he did it on three by five note cards. That's what he used to keep up with his clients. That's what he used to make sure he was following up on birthdays and selling them again. And all the other guys were walking around with their iPads and their laptops, but they were not as productive as old Al with his three by five cards and his little plastic box. I don't think they sell those little plastic boxes anymore. So the point of this one is don't let SOS take money out of your pocket, rob you of time, stick to the basics, and make sure when you decide to do, make sure when you decide to do something that you're committed 110%. And I'll see you next week.